Professor! So, if you know the child's pose, I love to add this movement into this act, uh, the next, the next exercise, into this grouping here, um, and I call it spider fingers, all right? You'll see on the pictures the description of more detail of how I, I'm going to talk you through this, but it's basically a child's pose, okay? So, with a child's pose, guys, we want to really first emphasize being able to see if we, how far we can go back. If you're super tight and restricted in your hips, then you're not going any farther. And if you don't have any pain, let's just stay with that. Then I want you to kind of drop down, okay, with the head down. Now, if you can sit back and down, that's all the better, all right? But if you have to stay a little elevated, we're going to stay a little elevated, okay? All right. I'm going to take a little break here. I'm going to get rid of this riser because we actually don't you need it right here. I'm going to reach up here and get rid of our riser. Thank you, riser. You've been a good riser. And I'm going to come back here and I'm going to get into our child's pose, which is our next exercise. So we just kind of activated this muscle in a position while we coiled in and we're just creating, we're kind of like pulling on those strength tension relationships. This is a great, these are great exercises, these two, the spider fingers we're going to be doing, the spider walks, and the one we just did, the lat stretch, that coil, these are wonderful for that, all that chronic sitting time, the computer, okay? We're going to try to relieve that tension to create that more mobility in the upper back and the shoulder. Again, the goal today, we're trying to release deep, kind of deep interior tension that's been built up for probably pretty much a lifetime. Okay? So be patient. So, it's not going to happen overnight. It didn't happen overnight, so it's not going to re be relieved overnight. But these are great steps. So I'm going to go into child's pose position. And how we do the spider fingers is I'm going to have one arm, I'm going to have this arm relaxed, but reaching out kind of wide, not too wide. And I can feel a little pull here. But I'm going to take my left hand, and I'm going to try to walk with like a spider and really reach with my left hand. I'm really going to exaggerate the reach of my left hand. My right arm is extended but it's not overbearing trying to reach out. You've got to find a comfortable extended place. And I'm going to be using all my fingers and thumb and try to walk all the way into the front of my other hand. Relax and breathe. Count to three. One, two, three. I want you to reach and walk back. And I'm literally trying to use all my fingers and thumb. Come back over to the side. Relax for a second. Again, extend and reach to the left. We're doing the left again. You're reaching and you're going slowly and trying to walk with spider fingers, I call them, across in front of the other arm, the other hand. Count to three. One, two, three. And we're going to walk them back. At any time, guys, you get a little bit overwhelmed with being in this position, you need a break, just come out, relax a little bit. But if you can do them all at the same time, all three sets, it's great. Three times we're going to walk across. I'm still using my left. As you can see in the pictures, I'm taking my time and I'm reaching across in front of my other hand. One, two, three, and I'm walking back. And I'm gonna relax this arm. Good, all right. Couple little shoulder rolls. I'm gonna reach down again. Now my left arm is gonna be extended but my right is really going to reach far and try to do our spider walks. Walk across. Don't be in a hurry to be proficient. 
we're getting some time under tension and count to three. One, two, three. Good. The emphasis is reaching and using the fingers to slowly move across the bed and relax that arm. Let's go again. Reach and walking. You can hear me grabbing the bed, squeaking, and going across, and, <coughs> excuse me, one, two, three, and walk back again. Good. And relax the right arm. And one more time, reaching the arm and use your fingers, walking, 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 over to the front of the left hand, pause, one, two, three, and walking back. And relax. Good. And come on up, shift around a little bit, and shoulder rolls. Can you see how my chin is nice and level? And my head is still, my head's getting a little turned here. And rotate the shoulders. And that should again, should activate that, break some little bit, some tight tension in there and help free up that. And again, the lats do link down in and play a part into uh, how the back, low back can have the mobility and how that relates to the upper body, okay? And we'll talk about that some more. All right. Professor. <laughs>